Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Janet Wright, and this is an energy healing recap video where I'm telling you the techniques that I used in today's group energy healing. And this is the, this is a good standalone video, um, so you can use it whenever you want, just if you thought the title was cool, you know, it'll have uh, two techniques in it. Uh, that are I think really good together actually in today's healing uh, today's healing today is uh, February 16th 2018 mm -hmm. and uh, This video is the second in the three video set uh, explaining today's healing uh, But I just thought you know, even though they're step five and step seven um, They're a really good combo. So they'd make a really good video. So I'm excited to make this video for you Yay so the first step is sticky gold, sticky gold wax, which um, there already is a sticky gold wax video. Um, it's like sticky gold wax, seven chakras, something like that in the title. And it's in the uh, quick techniques playlist. But we did that in another technique today and I thought, mm, you know, that's cool. Let's make a video just of those two techniques. Uh, chakra bloom. Uh, which is where you make you kind of tune your chakras to the point where they just go whoosh, and they make a whole bunch extra energy and color uh, vividness, you know, and so it's it's really good to help you feel lighter and and be uh, More present so This is gonna be an awesome walkthrough. I'm super excited <laughs> Okay, so first sticky gold wax um, on All your chakras <laughs> All of them uh, so sticky gold wax is a really easy technique and you don't need to know, you don't need, to, you can be a total newbie and use this technique, sticky gold wax, okay? But I will describe it using a couple complex concepts, but just bear with me because I promise the technique works even if you didn't understand half of what I'm about to say. <laughs> so that's how cool this technique is. <laughs> Okay, so you have, everyone has heard maybe seven chakras, seven chakras, right? You have seven chakras, but actually you have two sets of seven chakras. Your physical body has seven chakras along your physical body spine. And then your spirit body, which is you, your spirit, has seven chakras along your spirit body spine or your astral body spine. It's like a match set and um which is cool and um so sometimes you know one could be stuck but not the other and uh, like a, a good example is maybe you know someone's done a ton of therapy and they feel like they're over some stuff but then they so know they're not like in the reality of their life they're obviously still stuck <laughs> that is very common and what that is is you've cleared your astral body chakras what much more than your physical body chakras um, your astral body chakras you can clear through like an intellectual thing like therapy um, but it often does not clear your physical body chakras because you weren't present enough when you were in your therapy sessions and you just didn't know how to you know how to be that present but now you do you could mix these techniques with therapy if you wanted um, not necessary but you could <laughs> um, I mean for some people it's fun so anyway uh, let's do sticky gold wax on all those chakras that I just mentioned. Um, sticky gold wax is like, you imagine gold wax, like candle wax, but you know, when it's warm, wax just kind of melts and, you know, forms around stuff, right? And so let's say like this is a, a chakra, right? Your, your chakras are shaped like open cylinders. So one end is open and the other end is open, right? And so seven is in the top of your head. It's much smaller than this, but it's right here. And then six, five, four, three, two, one are below the camera. But anyway, uh, three, two below your belly button, one at the base of your spine. And uh, so anyway, those are all like this in the front, out the back, in the front, out the back, in the front, out the back, the energy flow, right? So um, we're gonna just imagine copies of those out in front of you, and then you do put sticky gold wax all around them, so it melts and it and sticks to anything, because it's sticky, it sticks to the chakra, and it, it um, we want to clear anything that is in the way of you being lighter and brighter. Because that's the theme of today's healing, lighter and brighter and having more energy. Being lighter and brighter and having more energy. Lighter meaning you feel lighter, you don't feel so burdened, right? You don't feel so oppressed. 
and brighter is a like a sort of a clairvoyant thing where you just like literally your energy is more vivid but I think it translates into feeling you know fantastic <laughs> so um, so anyway just imagine copies uh, in the healing what I did is first I did the body chakras uh, twice and then I did the spirit body chakras twice so first the physical body chakras so like literally your physical body has energy centers right along the spine all seven so just imagine those out in front of you and if you want a lot of info on what they look like and how the energy flow is and everything I have a three video set called seven chakras or a layers flow again that three video set is a playlist in my playlist section of my channel called seven chakras or a layers flow but to do this technique you don't need to watch that so just imagine out in front of you seven energy centers and however you imagine them doesn't matter you know if you're a newbie just work with it okay one could be like this and then the other six do, 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 could be like this right and so you just imagine them out in front of you copies and these are your physical body seven chakras and you're just making gold sticky gold wax with your fingers and your palm because there's energy centers here this one here one here and then fingertips each fingertip has an energy center so you're covering the seven chakras with the gold wax sticky gold wax and it's going to stick to anything that is healthy and gentle for you to clear right now so that you can be lighter and brighter and have more energy right lighter and brighter and have more energy so whatever you're ready to clear so that you can do that right and then just let the gold wax kind of harden a little so that it's going to stick and help you remove it remove these energy blocks and cords and then you just kind of cut the wax down the middle a little bit like don't cut your chakras just cut the wax you know and then you just kind of take the wax off i like taking the front half off and give it to my angels and the back half and give it to my angels so you could just do it that way or however you want to split the wax it doesn't matter um, but you just take part of it off and give it to your angels just say angels can you please take this and then take the other part of the wax off and say angels can you please take this so then it just leaves your chakras that are like a lot less blocked than they were <sighs> I do like that um so I did that twice and um I guess we'll do it quickly again uh, so seven chakras out in front of you. These are the physical body ones and just the gold wax sticky gold wax melt it all around And it's just gonna help. It's gonna stick to anything that you're ready to clear So that you could be lighter and brighter and have more energy and Then just split the sticky gold wax however you want So that you can take part of it off at once and give it to your angels and then say just angels Can you please take this and then take the other part of the wax off of all the chakras and say angels can you please take this <sighs> okay and then I did that same with the that same process with the astral body chakras so seven astral body chakras out in front of you they, they look exactly the same but they're from your spirit body or your astral body right so all seven of those out in front of you the cleaner these are it does help well it helps all, all the chakras help with everything so um but anyway just lots of gold wax all around them sticky gold wax all around your astral body chakras or your spirit body chakras and your intention is it's going to stick to anything that's healthy and gentle for you to clear right now so that you can be lighter and brighter and have more energy and then just split the wax however is convenient for you and then take half of it off and give it to your angels with your mind just say angels can you please take this from me and it's going to stick to all the energy blocks you're ready to clear all the energy cords anything that's not you around the chakras and then take the other half off and of the wax off and just give it to your angels say angels can you please recycle that or take it from me and let's do it one more time because i did it twice and twice so Astro body seven astro body chakras just imagine them out in front of you and you don't have to be able to visualize for that you just think it right and then put sticky gold wax all around them and it's going to stick to whatever's healthy and gentle for you to clear right now from your spirit body chakras so that you can be lighter and brighter and have more energy and then just split the wax in half and then give half to your angels angels can you please take this 
And then take the other half of the wax and give it to your angels. Say, angels, can you please take that? So sometimes when you imagine the astral body chakra separately, it kind of puts you a little out of your body. Not necessarily, but sometimes it could. So just, you know, come back, make sure you're fully present in your body. See how that feels. And then what I did too is I just did a little bit extra on the connections between the spirit and the body, uh, which I won't go into a lot of detail, but there is a nice video on that. Seventh and third chakra tune-up is a nice video for those connections. Uh, but anyway, at the seventh chakra, between your body, physical body and your spirit body, there's like a nice purple, you can make it purple, I think that's best, but it, it transmits energy from your physical body seventh to your spirit body seventh. And then at the third chakra, right here, you have one that goes to your spirit body third, and you can make that yellow. So nice purple cord here, a nice yellow cord here, and those are good cords. They go from your body to your spirit. Right, so you can just imagine those out in front of you, you know, spread out. So there's the seventh chakra connection between your physical body and your spirit body seventh. And just, you know, it might have like some hard energy around it that's black maybe, or some really overwhelming energy that's too fast moving, that's white. And so you could just bring up, imagine purple earth energy and just kind of wash out this connection or gold light and just wash out this connection because you want it to be like a nice purple flowy river flowing from one purple chakra to the other purple chakra right your physical body's seventh is purple and then your spirit body's seventh is purple well you, you set it to purple with your intention it can be other colors but purple is a nice color for it and so you just want it to be a nice big flowing purple river of just your energy so you clear everything out that's not you no, you know, melt away energy connections to other people that are, you know, maybe hooking into here. Just melt that away. And then same thing with the third chakra cord. Just, you know, imagine that connection between your physical body third and your spirit body third and just, you know, clean it out. It could have, like I said, um, well, all different colors that aren't you, but generally a lot of white or black is possible. Um, so just use yellow earth energy from the center of the earth and just kind of calm everything down and then some gold light or even divine gold sandstorm if you want like flecks of spinning gold light just to clean everybody out that's not you and melt away if anybody's hooked into here just melt them away because you just want it to be a nice safe flowing connection between your spirit third and your physical third which will help you sleep well, it will help you be more productive. So yes, 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 please. Okay, great. So that is, that was step five of the healing today. And um, so then we're going to step seven actually, because they are a good combo. Um, chakra bloom, which I did introduce already in a video on uh, January 19th of this year. So pretty much just over a month ago. There's a 30 minute video uh, that does have chakra bloom in the title. And if you wanna watch that one, that's fine. You just uh, use the search function of my channel and uh, put chakra bloom in the title and the search and you'll find it. Or you could, you know, if you're just searching all of YouTube, you have to write Janet Wright chakra bloom. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna do it now. So chakra bloom is uh, where, cause you can heal your chakras, but they chakras respond to i don't know you know it's like fine tuning where they could be healed and flowing but they're just kind of blah you know and then you heal them and you kind of amp them up enough so then they're like and they just like you know bust out a whole bunch of extra energy it's like you just unburden them so much and tune them so much that they're like it's just it's like a flower that just blooms you know and it's like that's awesome right and uh, so that's what you want, really. You want, ideally, all your chakras to be blooming all of the time. And you know, if you Google chakra bloom, you're only gonna find my stuff, I would think, because it's kind of a term that I, the angels and I made up together <laughs> to describe that. Um, so, but anyway, so you just imagine um, your seven chakras and you heal them to the point where they're blooming. You know, you just see like, and, you know, so we're going to do a sped up version of it, but you can do this on your own and take as much time as you want. <laughs> 
So, um, you know, the seventh chakra on the top of your head, you know, it's kind of like this, but much smaller, right? It's maybe the size of like a shot glass right in there. And, and you know, set it to your favorite shade of purple. And um, I think with this, I did both the astral body and the physical body just to make them all bloom. I wonder... Maybe do your astral body bloom first. I mean, if you're only going to do one, do your physical body, I guess. Eh, it's nice to do both, though. So anyway, uh, we're going to do it kind of quickly. So if you don't get a full bloom with each chakra, that's fine. You know, it's something that you can work at over time. And if you have any questions, you can post them under the video. And I will be happy to answer them as soon as I can. So... Uh, just imagine your seventh chakra of your physical body. Uh, we'll do the, yeah, we'll do the physical body first. So seventh chakra of your physical body and just heal it and unblock it. Um, unblock the round opening in the top and unblock the round opening at the bottom. And, you know, energy blocks can kind of be caked around it. So just, you know, they can look like black shells. So just melt away enough of those so that you see more and more of your purple and just kind of heal it to the point where at some point it just wakes up more. You just, with your intention, kind of wake it up, let it generate more energy. And then at some point it'll just, you'll just kind of feel it. It's like, well, if you can't feel, then it's just your imagination, you know? And, and you might be like, I think it did it. And that's good enough. You know, when you're a newbie, you're not gonna necessarily feel certain about anything at all, you know, when you're working your energy field, but it doesn't mean you're not good at what you're doing. Um, you probably are good at what you're doing. You're just doubting yourself all the time. So anyway, um, so heal it to the point where it blooms. So you, you have a lot more purple energy in your seventh layer. And then your sixth chakra is a cobalt blue. So like maybe this color is cobalt blue, like a deep blue. And, um, this sort of looks like blue black, but it should be like a, a blue with no black in it. Um, so anyway, just imagine your sixth chakra and just unblock it. You know, it's oriented this way, like all of the six by four, three, two, one are. Unblock the, you know, use a copy out in front of you so you can spin it around, you know, as much as you want and unblock one round opening and then unblock the other round opening, right? And then unblock, you know, anything, melt away, whatever's healthy and gentle for you to clear around the sides right and at some point it just kind of busts out a whole bunch of new energy and you just feel like whoa you know that layer just bloomed it's like you know almost a bloom it depends on how depleted it was before but a bloom could be like all of a sudden it's twice as much energy or if it wasn't so depleted like maybe mine just bloomed it's maybe 20 percent more energy so it's cool <laughs> Um, I think what we're going to do now is just do five, four, five right here, four, three, two, and one, like all at once, um, just for the sake of time, uh, of your physical body. So just do five, four, three, two, one, and unblock the round openings in the front and in the back. And, uh, five is like a nice light blue. But you don't have to worry about the color right now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so, and some might bust out and bloom, and some might not yet, and that's fine. You can just work them over time. So fifth throat chakra, if it blooms, it's going to be a nice, you know, if you set it with your intention to a, like an aqua or turquoise blue, then when it blooms, it's just going to bust out that same color. So there'll be a whole bunch more energy in your in your fifth layer that's that color which is nice and it, it can make your neck feel less tense which is great because your fifth chakra is right here it flows in the front energy flows in the front and out the back um okay so fourth chakra heart chakra that's a nice one to do bloom yeah all right we'll just do the fourth by itself just because it, it's so nice your fourth chakra makes you feel really good and positive so that set to set it to your favorite shade of green and then you know, use a copy out in front of you and just unblock the front and the back as much as you want. Unblock, unblock, unblock. And just melt away the energy blocks around the outside of it. 
So you see more and more of your favorite shade of green. And at some point, it just kind of gets unburdened enough to where it just is like, whoa, I can generate a lot more energy now. There you go. So mine just bloomed, you know. You know, so that means I have that one probably about 30% more. Yay. Um, uh, green, you know, energy of like self-love and enthusiasm and motivation. So that's really nice. So you can do that with all of them. Three, two, one. Uh, so we'll just do real quick. And if they don't bloom perfectly, that's okay. But third, yellow, second, orange for emotions, first, red for courage and abundance. Nice. So yellow bloom, orange bloom, red bloom. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do, since this video is long enough already, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have you do your astral body bloom on your own. Forgive me. You can just, it's the same process. So just listen to the video again and do astral body bloom. Okay. Um, and I like that it's paired with sticky gold wax because we already unburden the chakra so much. It shouldn't be as hard to make it bloom. Uh, so this is good that they're together. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, so if you're watching this in order uh, of today's healing, then the next video will be the part three video and it will be about clearing old projects and old problems, um, which helps the third chakra a lot because the third is about getting stuff done and productivity. And I saw in the healing that people, anyway, long story, but well, it won't be a long story. It'll be a good story. Uh, but that'll be the next video and it, it'll be linked at the end. Okay. Um, and it will have clear old problems and projects in the title. Okay. Bye.